Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe below and hit that notification bell. If you're not new, welcome back. I'm so glad we're friends. And if you're new, we could be friends too. So yeah. Anyway, today I'm going to be doing a review on the Spa Sciences SEMA Derma Planning Tool. Uh, this was gifted to me. This is not a sponsored video. I'm not being paid, but this was given to me so I could try it out. Um, I've been nervous about this for a really long time. I've been wanting to try it. However, I am afraid I'm going to turn into werewolf woman after using it. So, yeah. <laughs> this is going to be a real video of first impressions, me trying it. I'm not an expert. I'm not, this is not a tutorial video. This is me testing it out and telling you if I think it's cool, if I'm going to keep using it, if I like it. Um, and that's about it. So if you're looking for a tutorial, you might want to go somewhere else. Yeah. Anyway, but if you want to learn about it, you want to unbox it with me, you want to open yours and learn about it with me, keep on watching. I'd really like if you kept on watching. Anyway, yeah. Okay, guys, so if you're wanting to see this, here it is. So I actually am refilming this part because I messed up. I uh, tried to use it when it wasn't really charged and it died after one little section. So yeah. Anyway, so I'm going to show you what you get. You get your little instructions. You get your derma planning tool. You get a USB cord, but it's plugged up and you get extra blades to do your face. Okay. So what is derma planning? I didn't know what it was and the only reason I know what it is now is because I filmed this and I'm refilming it so yeah and I did I did use it a little bit right here anyway so what it is and I'm just gonna read it directly from here because that's just what I'm gonna do so where was it where was it blah, blah, blah. oh it was, on the, it was on the box okay so what is derma planning um, this is the single most effective same day rejuvenation treatment without any downtime and available in professional settings instantly and painlessly remove dead skin debris build up and peach fuzz. Uh, the downside to derma planning in a spa is that the treatments need to be done every seven to ten days and it's pretty expensive. Uh, yeah, so you can use this and get that at home. So cool, cool. Now, the thing that I'm concerned about, and I am going to film so you guys will know what happens, I'm afraid I'm going to grow dark hair. That's the fear. You shave your little peach fuzz around your mouth. Am I going to get a mustache? I don't know. I hope not. But I'm going to test this for you guys. And I really hope that I don't have like a hairy werewolf face after this. Okay? All right. Yes. <laughs> So before we get started, again, I think I already said this. I'm just like all over the place. Uh, you wash your face first. Um, when you plug this in the charger, if it blinks one red light, it means it's a low battery. If it blinks two red lights, it means it's half charged. And if it's two solid red lights, it's fully charged. It's blinking two, we're half charged. It says when you first start trying to use this, you should use it on the lowest setting. So because I've only used it, what like... I don't know, 10 minutes ago, uh, I'm going to use it on a low setting because I don't really know how to use it, okay? All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to turn it on, lowest setting. It says hold your skin tight, and the picture shows the girl on the thing kind of going like downward like this. And you don't want to get it too close to your hairline. I did not read that. I'm just using common sense. <laughs> Don't be doing it on your eyebrows either. And I'm going to tell you this. I can literally see hair like falling. So again, you I don't want to get my little sideburns. So I'm going to hold it like this. It does say for really good results to go over the area um, that you're doing like two or three times. I will say it's not hard to use it doesn't hurt I do see let's see if you guys can see it 
Can you see? You can't. So this is what I'm going to do because I, I can't see it either. Um, I can right here, but this is the dead skin. Dead skin. It's on my hand. It's on here. And that's hair and dead skin. You know, that's what that's what it's supposed to do. So cool. Cool, cool, cool. It does say don't go over your lips. I don't know why you would. And it also says do not go over your, what's it called, um, your nose and your lips. Or if you have like a big mole or something, it says don't go over that. I'm just going to go on my nose a little bit. I actually don't see any hair on there, but you know, hey. Um, so funny story is I dated this guy and he was like so cute, right? And then when you got up close to him, he literally had like the hairiest nose. I'm talking the top of the nose. So let's see. Ooh, I heard that. <laughs> you do you have a little peach fuzz around? Can you see it? It's like shaky, so. Can you see? Not really. I'm telling you, it's there. It's like, I guess it's because the hair is so light. So after you do this, it's supposed to also make it where your makeup goes on smoother, your skincare goes on smoother, and you just do this like once a week. I'm telling you, you can see like so much crap coming off my face. It's like on my hand, it's on, it's awesome. All right, I'm gonna speed this up because I know you guys don't care. <laughs> Okay, so I'm pretty much done. I think I'm done. This is, um, I mean, it's my first day using it, but I used it a little bit earlier. You can see the little fuzz sticking out. I mean, I guess I didn't have like a super hairy face to begin with, so that's cool. So these are single use, and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and put on my foundation my skincare and then my foundation and then I'm going to tell you how it feels then I'm gonna come back and talk to you guys after like a week or so and let you know if I grew like a big mustache or if I have a really hairy face okay okay <laughs> okay guys so I just wanted to update you and with final thoughts of the spa sciences what is this called? Derma planning tool? <laughs> anyway, uh, so I used it and I loved it. As I have already said, I love it. Um, I love the way my foundation sits on my face. I love the way my moisturizers and my creams and serums, they just melt into my face. I was very nervous because I didn't know what's going to happen a week later after the hair grows back. The hair does grow back. And you do have to continue to use this tool. 
Um, did the hair grow back thicker? Did it grow back um, darker? No, it didn't. But I do want to warn you, the hair around my mouth, like my little mustache hair, it's barely there, but I did feel like it was thicker. Um, yeah, it, it looked thicker to me. I, maybe I'm crazy, but maybe it's because it wasn't there for a little while and then it came back and it just seemed thicker. I don't know. It could have been because it's very new hair. I don't know, but what I can tell you is the rest of the hair on my face did not come back super dark or anything like that. It didn't come back any darker. Still soft, fine, white little fluff hair that you can't see. So I will continue to use this. I think I will use this forever. <laughs> I love it. It is definitely going into my routine. So I got my one little exfoliation tool and then I'm going to use this one or I can't decide which one I'll use first anyway and this was a big hit with my stepson I'm going to get him one hopefully and not pink um, it's gonna be a great birthday gift for him because now once a week he's like hey can you shave my face he's a hairy dude anyway it looks great and he feels really confident so love it anyway that's it I'm going to link this down below uh, that was my biggest concern was really that the hair was gonna come back all dark and crazy but it didn't so yeah Anyway, again, I'll link it down below. Thank you again, Spa Sciences, for letting me try this tool. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I answered any questions you guys were wondering about this tool. And yeah, okay, bye. Have a good rest of your day.